Talk of a gold standard back on the table. Meanwhile, for the first time in three decades, when the Republican Party meets at its convention next week, the platform may call for a gold commission to look at restoring the link between the dollar and the precious metal, otherwise known as the gold standard. Congressman Ron Paul has been an avid supporter of this for years, and he joins us right now on the telephone exclusively. Congressman, good to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us. If you had your way, we'd be on the gold standard right now, right? Well, yes, uh, or whatever the market would uh, dictate. My main goal is to make sure that we don't have a monopoly control over paper money or fiat money, which causes all our problems. If the market were to determine what would happen, yes, we probably would have a gold or silver standard. The Constitution certainly indicates that, and it hasn't been changed, that gold and silver uh, is still legal tender. Uh, so, yes, that's what we should have, and we could avoid uh, some of these horrendous swings in the marketplace with bubbles building and then bursting and transfer of wealth from the middle class to the, to the wealth. So we could avoid a, a lot of our problems. We could curtail the growth of big government by not allowing governments to monetize their debt. There would be so many advantages over having a commodity standard, and a gold standard would do it if it was it, run adequately. Is this gold commission something that's being done to appease you and stop a floor fight at the convention? Well, I think it's a mixed bag. I think certainly it is. I mean, they uh, they haven't invited me to speak uh, at the convention, but they also know that there's a lot of people now interested in some of the views that I've been expressing. So they are wanting to appease, but they're not going to uh, put something in their platform that they think is politically risky. They now know that the American people know there's something wrong with the monetary system and something wrong with the Federal Reserve. So it's a politically popular thing to be uh, involved in and to call for an audit of the Fed, which they do, and, and also to talk about a gold commission and why gold is important. So this is a reflection of the effort that we've made in educating people. And I, there was a poll today on TV that showed that a large majority of American people favor going on, on a gold standard. So I would say that uh, the success is actually uh, a little bit more than I expected this early, but it also reflects the necessity to bring some sanity but, but to what we're doing. But how practical is it? People know you can't run trillions and trillions of dollars worth of debt. And you don't have the money. You just print the money. It, it doesn't even make sense to a 10-year-old, let alone grown-ups. Yeah, but, I mean, is it really practical to have, you know, gold as the standard? I mean, and we've tried this before, right? Back in the 1980s, former President Ronald Reagan created a similar gold commission to look into this. You were a key member of that, but the panel ultimately advised against such a move. Why would this time be any different? <laughs> Well, the whole thing is, is uh, uh, that th th there was no serious intent back then. Matter of fact, it was Carter that uh, set up that gold commission, and it came about after resistance in 1981 when Reagan was in office. But obviously, uh, the interest, I mean, there were 15 from the establishment. <laughs> they had people from the Federal Reserve and Treasury and Wall Street were there, and there were only a couple of us here that, uh, that were on the panel on the commission that uh, dealt with it from a monetary viewpoint, uh, most of them there were to protect the Federal Reserve System and the big bank. So, of course, the results turned out. We did get to do a minority report, but the conditions are much worse today. Um, I think there's a, a much bigger crisis. The, the paper money system creates a massive amount of debt, and since the dollar is a reserve currency, the world is awash in debt. So the, Greece, uh, the debt of Greece and these other countries, it is related to the dollar standard. Uh, so therefore, the conditions are so much worse, and we're, we're deeply in debt, and all that is being offered out of Washington is spend more money, borrow more money, print more money, and the American people and the people of the world, matter of fact, are waking up. This is crazy. It doesn't work. You can't get rid of a debt problem by creating more debt and printing the money. So well, I how think do you our respond, day has come. To I think they are going to be paying this. a lot more attention to sound money. How do, you, how do you respond to critics who say, including Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke, who say that the gold standard leaves no discretion in the banking system over interest rates or the money supply? <laughs> That'd be grateful. I mean, That's what you want. Why should they have the discretion? Why? Is, that you're touching on the very point of the evil of the system we have. What in the world makes us think that somebody like 
Bernanke or a small group of people would have any idea what interest rates should be or what the money supply should be. That's where, that's where the problem is. What they do is they help the banks. They give them money for free. They buy government debt. They get out of trouble and make billions of dollars. People who save and try to take care of themselves, they put money in the bank and they get 1% or less on their savings. That's called malinvestment. So even, even though price is going up is a, is a serious consequence of monetary inflation, malinvestment is the big problem. That's what's happened today. All this money, and that's why we don't have a recovery. They create, create all this money, but it's going to the wrong places. Yeah, but it, from a may, it, uh, at least it's helping the economy. Maybe it's going where they want it to go to bail out the big guys and bail out Wall Street and bail out the banks. Where, where is this gold going to be held? I mean, from a practical standpoint, how would this work? Well, it, it's been around for a long time. It's been around for 6,000 years. It's the natural money that has been picked, and people uh, just use it. It, it isn't managed. You don't, it, this, is, uh, this is a fallacy to think you have to have a management of money. Uh, people have to uh, uh, obey the law. You can't be fraudulent. Uh, you can't counterfeit the money, and yet this is what the Fed does. They counterfeit money. So the laws of honest money in a market takes care of this. This is more or less asking, how are you going to run the computer industry? Well, it just works. The market works that way, and are people you, honor their contracts, and they make promises. And you way, have you, to have a medium of exchange, and the natural medium of exchange has been gold and silver for 6,000 years. Congressman, real quick, are you expecting a stimulus from the Federal Reserve? Expecting what? More stimulus from the Fed in the next couple of weeks. Oh, oh absolutely. The stimulus, the stimulus is continuous. How else could they keep interest rates down at, at zero? So, yes, uh, if they want to make an announcement, I don't even think he should need an amount, announcement to realize what's going on. The deficits continue and the printing continues. Interest rates are artificially low. And I'm sure that there will be uh, in time, you know, who knows when, but there will be at a time when they think it's a good PR to announce, oh, we're, now we're going to really super stimulate the economy, which doesn't mean a thing, because all they're doing is pumping in more money that won't right. do any good. All right, we'll leave it there. Congressman, good to have you on the program. Thanks very much. Thank you. We'll, we'll be watching you next week at the convention on your gold standard ideas.